here at Design That Matters, we're forever wallpapering the studio with information. Making our ideas big and visual is the best way to apply lots of brains to the same problem. Surrounding ourselves with project data is a constant reminder of what we're doing and why. We love the portability of posters and post-it notes, but even after moving to a big studio in Salem, we never had enough wall space. The piles of posters started getting unmanageable. We needed a better solution. That's when we found MakeSpace from Stanford's D School. Their design for a DIY whiteboard made from a garment z was perfect. The wheels meant we could park them anywhere in the studio, the bases nest together to reduce clutter, and building them on our own saved money, which is great because we're a cheapskate nonprofit and we wanted 10 of them. We made this video to show you how we modified the Stanford Xerac design and to share some of the accessories we designed to make the Xeracs even more useful. To start, you'll need a garment Xerac, two sheets of melamine showerboard, lots of zip ties, and a drill with a quarter inch drill bit. See the video description for details. Cut two five by four foot pieces of showerboard. Clamp the two pieces together so that the writing surface of each is facing outward. Drill six holes along each edge, about three quarters of an inch in. To assemble, first zip tie the boards along what will become the bottom. Then prop the boards up together and lean the Xerac over while attaching the zip ties along the top. Stand the Xerac back up with the whiteboard hanging in place. Finish fastening the edges and trim the excess. If the holes came out a little too ragged, you can cover them up with washers. So now that you've made your Xerac, you can make it better. We used our Fab Lab to make a bunch of custom accessories. We made a whiteboard marker holder that snaps onto the vertical pole. We made a hook for flip chart pads and cardboard sheets. We designed a clip that locks into an IKEA utensil bin and attaches to the side to hold an eraser, pens, post-its, whatever. And of course you can personalize it with stickers. So we've used our Xerox just about every day for the past three years for everything from research frameworks, design sketches and doodles, to budgets and to-do lists. But we've also found some different ways to utilize them around the office. You can throw on a couple pony clamps and a blanket and quickly hide your top secret post-its. You can make a fancy room partition, you can hang your art, and most importantly, you can protect expensive fab lab equipment from crazed vandals. So we posted detailed how-tos on Instructables and the SDL files for all of our Xerac gadgets on Thingiverse. Both of these links are posted below. Happy hacking!